Hello and welcome to This Is. Matt, it's time to go back to basics. Oh yeah? Yeah. Have you ever been shopping on Amazon and you go to pick out the product you want and you notice that right at the bottom of the page they say, hey, can I offer you in this Amazon basics equivalent instead? The horror. Well, I don't know about horror because there's a lot of products that it makes total sense to do that. Batteries, you know, dish towels, anything that like is non-electronic. Batteries and dish towels are your two options. Those are the ones I get personally. So oh, like, actually, do you actually legitimately use Amazon basics products? Yeah. I mean like the ba the batteries work just fine. You know, something like my mouse pad is Amazon basics. It works great. And it's a, it's a good way to save money. But then you see things like computer speakers or m mice and keyboards. Like, I don't know. Is, that, is that really worth it? What you're saving? So for this, we went to Amazon and tried to buy three Logitech peripherals and then immediately purchased the Amazon basics equivalents as well. So the first one we got is the MX master three, yeah. like literally what most people consider to be one of the best mice yeah, that you this, can buy. This is the gold standard in mice. And then what they suggested was, and I love the naming on all oh, of these. Oh no. So instead of a nice, sexy name like the MX Master 3, we instead have the compact ergonomic wireless mouse with fast scrolling. Ew. Yes, but we also got it in silver to match our MX Master. All right, let's do it. Uh, you'll notice that these are actually empty because I already unboxed them. All right, so we got the MX Master 3. I mean, this thing is, is gorgeous. The MX just, series has been, they basically had some of the best mice for a very long time. I mean, I've been using the two for a while. Literally the only thing that I thought they had to improve on was that it was micro USB instead of USB-C. Which is now USB-C. Correct. This guy will work over USB as well as Bluetooth. You have three different options. So if you're moving between different computers, you can literally go from one, two, three. Yep. We got our little unifier here. Or dongle. So, dongle. The, the beginning of Dongle Town. There we go. We'll get, we'll get a dongle in the, in the shot there. Little, little guy there. Listen to that though. It's such a satisfying click. My favorite part about the Logitech series is the, is ah. the scroll wheel. Yeah. Wait, wait, put it up to the mic. Let everyone experience Just, it. Should we bring in the Amazon? Yeah. Option now? So the Amazon looks exactly the same as the, the Logitech. Well, okay. These. It's inspired maybe. That's not quite the same. I mean, okay, so I do know that there is a couple of other Logitech sort of, what do they call them, the ergonomic series or whatever. Like there are a couple of others that look a little bit more like this and that they're a little bit sort of shorter. You, you seem to think that I was serious and I couldn't tell the difference between these two. Oh, I'm sorry, Matt. I am kind of not happy, although to be fair, this is the compact version, but I'm not really happy with the way that my hand sits here. This definitely just feels a little bit more comfortable. That yeah. feels significantly better. Sure, it's not one-to-one -one as far as like, you know, we can think that there's a, a product that better is a better comparison, but the whole point of this is that this is what Amazon said. This is what we think you should mm -hmm. get when you're ordering this. How much were these mice? So this one is $100. It's MX Master MX 3. MX Master 3 is $100. Okay. So the Amazon Basic one is $16. Oh, wow. Okay, so that's this a, is huge a major difference. difference. Yeah, and I mean, like, this one, there's no there's no argument. This one just feels better. It's, like, I'd say twice, maybe three times the weight of this. That one feels very cheap, very it, hollow. Whoa. You hear that? Look how much travel there are with these buttons. They feel really not good. There are, there is a back and forward button, but beyond that, there's not a lot of other stuff here. So instead of the infinite scroll, you hit this little button on the bottom and that will turn on and off your, what do they call it? The fast scroll. So if I want to fast scroll, woo. Yeah. I mean, this is, this is not bad for a $15 mouse. All right. And that's, and that's something with a mouse is like, we talk about this with audio and stuff like that. There's not going to be like leaps and bounds. I mean, this is working just fine. Yeah. Well, let's uh, plug it in. Let's get yeah. out. Not only do I not even need to install the Logitech software, although I know you should because there are a lot of extra features. Yes. But even without it, it immediately is working. It's detecting. So we have a little thumb button. We have a couple of little buttons here, which can function as back and forward. You also have your click. It's not like a mouse with tons and tons of buttons, not like an MMO mouse or something. No, we but still have a lot of functionality. I mean, for like graphic design and productivity, this is really good. Good. And so I like, like the side, it, the, what do you call it? The, the side, side scroll. scroll. Yeah. Which is great. So like, that's one of the things I always miss with, um, I mean, I used to love using the Apple magic mouse just yeah. because of the gesture scrolling, but this one, you get that, you can still do that side scrolling. If you're like us, you know, you're using a mouse, like literally a mouse for like graphic design or content creation all day. You want to go with this one Yeah. for your home office that you're just checking emails with, save the money, get the Amazon basic one. It does just every like it does everything you need it to do. 
It's not gonna blow you out of the water, but for 16 bucks, how can you go wrong? It's a lot better than I would say like the average mouse that comes with your computer is yes. going to be. Yes. Okay. All right, next we have the Logitech K780 keyboard. Okay. So this what is, is this? This is actually a keyboard I use at home. No, 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 what's this like wedge thing on the top? So this is meant to work with like a tablet or a phone. Oh. You put your, you, you know, you put your iPhone there, you put your, your, your iPad there. Okay. So it's three devices. Um, it's great. I'm um, curious. My initial instinct is definitely to question why the keys are round. Yeah, that was a little that was a little weird getting used to. When we go to do it, what's recommended is Ugh. this Amazon Basics keyboard, which again just has a name like Amazon Basics ergonomic keyboard. How much was this? Because this feels very cheap. So this one was $28 and it does come with Oh, a baby mouse. A baby mouse. Okay, hold on, hold on. Let me see the baby mouse. Oh, and it's wireless too? Yes, with a oh, it's unifier. It's so tiny. Okay, wait. What the? That's, yeah. that's in a click? That is the worst feeling mouse that I've ever felt. Yeah. All right, so. To be fair, we're not here to, to judge the mouse, and now that it's broken, we'll never get to judge it. This is a very quiet keyboard. It is a low quality membrane keyboard, though. Like, to me, like, it's, it's very squishy. It's fine for a very basic keyboard, but eh. How much is the, the price difference, though? So this is 28 with the mouse. Like, so this is $56. So the main idea with the Logitech is that it is a Mac keyboard, right? It's both Mac or PC, but it can connect to three devices at a time. Which is nice. Which the, you even have Amazon like the home key and everything, yes. yeah. The Amazon Basics doesn't do that. So this is a great all-in-one keyboard for if you have a lot of devices. I will say that I actually don't mind this. It does feel like it's a little bit meant for more like an iPad than anything else. But if you have one keyboard, you have a couple of devices on your desk, the keys themselves definitely feel better than the Amazon. Not super impressive. But uh, especially if you have a mobile device, I will actually go with that one. My favorite part about it is how heavy it is. It is heavy. It, just, it's it, like it doesn't shift around on your desk and everything. But yeah. and like, you know, like, I don't like mechanical keyboard. These keys feel great to me. To me, that's mechanical. All right. 12 seconds later. This is not a Logitech keyboard. This is a Razer keyboard. It is a mechanical keyboard. You just talked Ooh. about a mechanical keyboard. I'm not saying this one. Uh, I recommend just not buying this. Yeah, I would definitely not recommend yeah. listening to Amazon on this one. I gotta say, Matt, not looking too hot listening to Amazon right now. Speaking of listening, we have the Logitech Ooh. Mickey Mouse ears. Yeah, These were do. $87. Oh, so actually fairly expensive speakers. Yes. I gotta say, they look really cool. Yeah, I like the little like, I don't even know, like is that just like an, an inlet on the side here? It, it looks nice. Do they sound quality though is the real question. The downside to them is that they actually do not have uh, USB. So these are 24 watt speakers? Yes. Okay. Not bad for desktop stuff, but not amazing. Like, I mean, these yeah. aren't like reference speakers. You're not gonna, yeah. you're not gonna mix just audio some, with these. I mean, there's just some nice sounding speakers. Uh, we need power for these though, right? Yes, and it's already plugged in. Oh, look at that. So these do have Bluetooth as well. Yes. But we're gonna use aux because I didn't realize it had Bluetooth. Why are we? Well, these are facing the audience. They need to be facing us. Yeah, They're not I know. here. Then, then we gotta switch it. Okay, just flip it around. But I mean, okay. I only got so much length. Well, no, that's a problem we all have to deal with in life. I mean, these sound great. I'm quite happy with these. These sound. Awesome. I would say well above average for desktop speakers. They're not gonna blow you away, but for something which is gonna sound nice on your desk, thumbs up. Yeah. What are the Amazon equivalents? I mean, I mean these are probably actually gonna sound okay, but they look pretty, like these look like a generic speaker. I bet I, you there's 20 other companies selling these speakers mm -hmm. just without the Amazon Basics logo on Oh, so these are USB powered though. USB powered? That's, that's. But I'm wondering, are they US, can they play, like play through USB? No, because it has, uh, it has aux. I'm going to assume no. I'm going to assume which is that. Which is an interesting oversight. Okay. okay, confirmed. It does not actually play these through USB, which is a huge bummer. This is so bright. You're right. Yeah. Why does it need to be, why does it need to be so bright? You played in the Logitech, Matt. <laughs> I was about to <laughs> get my pants with how good these sound. I was like, that sounds really, wait a minute. Why yep. is this one by... <laughs> <laughs> totally messed that up. That's it? Dude, 
Dude, these are max right now. Hold on. Yeah, it's max. Full volume. So these ones were 14 bucks. If you want to buy cheap speakers, by all means, go ahead. But if Amazon is recommending you to get these cheap, crappy speakers instead of what are a obviously much more expensive, but far superior set of speakers, that, I don't like that. It works for batteries. It does not work for Logitech products. Thank you very much for watching this episode of This Is. Make sure to subscribe to the channel and let us know in the comments what Amazon Basics gear should we take a look at next time.